and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with a new video. And it's not what you think, it's the topic of a new stadium. New stadium in Buffalo. Should we build? Should we not? Should we renovate? We have already renovated. Have we renovated enough? Should we stop putting money into an old stadium and just build a new one? Those are the arguments, those are the debates that are going on across the nation from the west coast to the east coast and even up north in canada we talking about it but really and truly what is the right thing to do for the bills what is the right thing to do in this situation now there are some pros and there are some cons and from someone that is not living in the states it affects us too because we travel down to these games we want to have a great fan experience but we don't want to break the bank either and we know when you gotta buy new things, it's gonna cost. But let me bring it back a little bit. What is the topics? What are the things that are standing in the way of potentially staying and potentially going? We have new ownership. The Pagulas were gracious enough to fork over a lot of money to buy the bills. But the question was always, will they stay in Buffalo or will they not? The Pagulos kind of slowed down that chatter of moving because there was rumor that the bills were gonna move to Toronto. Eh, I was not feeling that, not at all. But I'm not about to have the Bills move to Toronto because it's just not plausible. Now, the pros and the cons. Staying near Orchard Park, you've got space. You've got room, you've got parking space. The amount of people that come from the north, from Canada coming down, from New Jersey, from New York, from Texas, from LA, there's too many Bills fans for you to constrict us into a new area. So we've got space. We've got rich history. The amount of things that have happened in that stadium, the amount of things that have happened, the Super Bowls that we lost. Yes, I know, I know. We had the 90s teams. We won the AFC East championships in that stadium. There's rich history. There's the tailgating, the fan experience, the ultimate fan experience of tailgating. You can't buy that anywhere. People come to Buffalo for that experience. You just don't, you don't get that anywhere. You don't get that in Green Bay. You don't get that in Jacksonville. Buffalo brings it no matter what, no matter what weather, no matter week 16, week four, it doesn't matter, we bring it at all times. And one thing that is of most importance is the expenses. It's not as expensive right now to go to a Bills game. But keep in mind, there are a lot of things that need to change. I mean, let's keep it real. There's been $130 million put in to renovations with the Bills. That's a lot of money. Plus, an alleged $18 million of more renovations coming to the press boxes, allegedly. That's over $145 million already put in renovations alone. Will there be more? We don't know. Those are some reasons that we should stay where we're at. Just continue to renovate, just revamp the stadium so it's up to code, up to fan experience code, so we don't have to talk about moving ever again. Now. The flip side, building a new stadium. Sometimes good things must come to an end. And it's not necessarily a bad thing to start thinking of building somewhere else. Now here's the deal, you build downtown. Now this is my opinion. This is my, my point of view. When I drive through downtown, you wanna know what I see from an outsider? I see abandoned buildings, I see less businesses, I see not a whole lot of striving things happening downtown Buffalo. Maybe I'm frequenting the wrong places, but Buffalo is not the biggest city there is. So I drove around, I saw these things. Putting a nice, beautiful stadium somewhere in the downtown area, somewhere where it's lively, could bring more business, could bring more people there, could, could attract more, could create more jobs. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those situations where those are the nice things that happen, but guess what? They cost money. You wanna know something? The stadium that Jerry just built in Dallas a few years back, several years back, over a billion dollars. The stadium that just got built not too long ago in Atlanta, over a billion dollars. 
the Jets, the Giants, MetLife Stadium, over a billion dollars. You are not looking to build a stadium for $500 million, I'll tell you that right now. We are going to be building stadium for over a billion dollars, but where's that money going to come from? Nowadays, they're asking taxpayers to hand over and open up your hand and give me a little something. So those are the things that may hinder these things to happen. But think of a new stadium. Could we build a dome? Could we build an open field, open stadium concept right near the water? I'm telling you, it could be great. New seating, new everything innovative big screen how lovely would that be to now have a stadium downtown and having everything around it now it's tight where are you gonna park what you gonna do for parking in this that and the third more jobs get created taxis uber maybe you guys can get out there i don't know but this is about this is a challenge this is a battle what to do with a stadium out there here's my opinion not that my opinion matters I, although I would love for a new stadium to be built, and I'm for it, I am for it, but something tells me that Orchard Park is the place for the Bill Stadium to stay. If you've got to put more money into it to really ramp it up, really revamp it up, top stadium or state-of-the-art stadium with huge renovations, I would say go ahead and do that. There's just too much history, there's just too much room, there's just too much sense for the stadium to stay where it's at. That's just my opinion. Let me know what your thoughts are. Good idea, bad idea. Please comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Click a thumbs up for this video. Let your boy know that you're showing love. And if you guys have not yet subscribed to this channel, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, it's your boy. And I'm gone. Buffalo Fanatics has partnered with YouTube to offer viewers the ability to become sponsored members. Here are all the perks and exclusives included in your member package. Receive a Buffalo Fanatics loyalty badge and get priority when hosts are responding to comments and answering questions inside every live video chat. Access to a member-only community where you'll be able to communicate with our content creators and have more of a say in the content produced. Qualify to stream with our Buffalo Fanatics gaming streamers live on our YouTube and Twitch channels for the world to watch. Never pay shipping fees when shopping inside the Buffalo Fanatics fan shop. Automatically entered into a drawing to win a pair of tickets to the 2019 Buffalo Bills home opener, where you'll hang out and sit with the entire Buffalo Fanatics team. Drawing will be held live on YouTube in August 2019. We rep the people, we rep Buffalo Fanatics.